<clears throat> Bonjour and welcome to another video. Um, I made a video about people with short attention spans. So in this video, I'm going to make a video about people with long attention spans. Um, unlike people with short attention spans, people with long attention spans will watch, will watch, you know, will watch longer videos here on YouTube and they, you know, watch other things and they won't be bored quickly or being turned away or something, you know, um, um, let me drink some of this Perrier that I have here. Got a, got a bottle of lime flavored Perrier, so I'm going to drink, get a sip of this before I continue talking in this video. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, people with long attention spans, all they care about is what something is about. You know, what some yeah, and they sit and watch I say like, you know, a movie or a long documentary on on YouTube or or any or anything else. And all they care about is what something is about. The story. You know, the plot of the story, what's going on. And when they get done watching something, they have a they have a legit argument. And they'll tell you what something is about, what they saw, and they'll explain it. And they'll give their thoughts on something and they'll talk about it in detail. Or they just tell you what's going on. I mean, what's good and what's not good, what makes sense, what doesn't make any sense. That's all they care about. Uh, people with short attention spans, people, like, you know, people on YouTube, you know, like, you know, like a Martel de Cool, um, all they care about is how long a video is. They'll say, oh, the video is long. It's so long. It's long, boring, and dreadful. But when they say that, they never, they never give a legitimate argument. They'll never, they'll never tell you what they watch, what was, what was, what it was all about. What was, what, what is it all, all about? Uh, try to speak more like the Canadians. Yeah, um, they trying to. Yeah, they won't. Yeah, they won't tell you what something is all about. They won't tell you that. They won't. Yeah, they'll just. They'll just look at something. They'll say, "Oh, your videos are long, boring, and dreadful. Your videos are long." And they'll do something incredibly insane. Like if you have a YouTube channel, they'll go and tell you, "Make shorter videos." Make shorter videos, brother. And yeah, all they care about is telling you to make a short video. Tell someone to make a short video. And they'll never talk to you about what what they watch, what it was all about. All about. Because, you know, they have a very short attention span. They get bored really quick. You know. They're on, you know, they're on social media, you know, they're on, they're on their smartphones all the time, you know, and you go look at the, the content that they make on their YouTube channels, it's sloppy, it's, it's all over the place, it's garbage, you know, and you know, and a person with a long, long attention span, they see these videos, They'll talk about it. 
They'll give their thoughts on it. But, you know, people with short attention spans, they can't do that. They view long, they view long videos as boring. If it's long, it's boring. But they'll never tell you why it's boring. You know? Like, but people like me, for instance, you know, if, okay. Okay, like, okay, if I watch somebody talk about the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, it will be boring. Or if everybody's the same, that will be boring. But when people watch a YouTube video who have a short attention span or watch anything online, they see a video that's incredibly long, they don't care about what the video's about. All they care about is it's so long or they'll say stuff like you got a good speaking voice or that's kind of cool brother black black man on a black background that is so cool <laughs> it'll never it'll never talk and they'll never go and talk about what that video is about they just talk about stupid stuff stuff that's not interesting you know yeah, okay, um, a video that's long, boring, and dreadful, and you got a good speaking voice, and all this, like, that's not important, you know, back in the day, um, I mean, if you're a kid, and you went to school, and if you like that, like, you know, the teachers will say that, oh, he, he, had, he has attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, uh, he has a he, he's autistic. He has a learning disability. You know, and they'll hold that person back. You know, because you know, and that person who views um doing homework or learning about something and talking about something, they'll view that as boring. It's boring. It's boring. It's boring. You know, and I think that's the reason why there's so many uneducated people here in the U.S. Because you know, well. <laughs> People who don't have a disability, I mean, they're ignorant and insular. They, you know, they're uneducated. You know, yeah, the education system in America is pretty bad, and it is, but you got people who are just not interested in, you know, what goes on in other countries and how people in other countries, how other cultures are. Like, for instance, like, okay, like Labisse. Labis is where uh, people in France go and kiss each other on the cheek. You you say something like that to an American with with a very short attention span, they don't care. You'll talk about that. They won't say anything. You know, and it's kind of weird that you know people with short attention spans have an obsession with with videos on people's channels to be long and that's all they talk about and you ask okay my videos are long why they're long why come you don't like them being long which is not important you know they won't say anything all, all they can say is your videos are long <laughs> yeah your videos are long <laughs> and guys like, Criticism. Make your videos be shorter, amigo. Whoopa stompa, whoopa stompa, whoopa stompa, whoopa stompa. My name is Marto the Cool, and your videos are are vlog. Whoopa stompa, whoopa stompa, whoopa stompa, whoopa stompa. And I'm gonna unsubscribe to you because you said something bad about my wife. Whoopa stompa, whoopa stompa, whoopa stompa. <laughs> oh, yeah. These people are silly. You know, I guess, you know, my videos on my channel aren't going to fly well with people nowadays. But, you know, if YouTube existed, I say, back in the 80s or the 90s or the 70s, I bet my YouTube channel will blow up. It will have a lot of subscribers, a lot of legit comments that talk about what what goes on in the videos and not dumb comments like you have a good speaking voice brother laugh out loud do a video about me yeah and you know um, is
it's like this, you know, um, you know, I've been, you know, um, I don't want to do this, but, you know, I've been trolling a guy named, um, Knowledge Variable, um, I've been trolling him, I've, I've been looking at him on, on, um, on Doc Geo7's YouTube channel, he was talking real normal and talking about what Doc G was saying in, in his, on the videos on his YouTube channel, but when he goes onto my channel, he treats me like I'm a buffoon, like I'm an idiot, like I'm stupid, and he tells me, make a video about me, I don't know what, the guy thinks, I guess he thinks that I have a, you know, I'm, I guess he thinks I'm a simpleton, I'm stupid, I don't know any better, I'm an idiot, I'm a joke, and that's what this guy views me as. But you know, I'm going to say this, you know, I didn't, I didn't make this, I didn't make this YouTube channel just to entertain people and, and, and to do the bidding of, of people who view my, who view my videos. I did it because I, I want to talk about the things that I want to talk about but you know I, I guess what I'm talking about is a joke because of who I am and what I have but you know I don't care what what people think you know and someone told me this you know you have a YouTube channel this is your YouTube channel what you do in it what you do on it is your business your channel your choice you can make any type of videos that you want if people want to tell tell you what kind of videos you that they want you to make, they can do that on their channel, and that's the truth. And they need to, and and I believe in that. You know, when it comes to people with long with long attention spans and people with with short attention spans, I'm just gonna go at people with short attention spans. You know. Them tell me what kind of videos that they want to make and them tell me my videos are long, boring, and dreadful and your videos are long, you know. If they want to make any type of videos that they videos on their channels that they want to make, they can do it on their channel. So I make videos the way I want to make them. If you don't like that, I'm gonna block you. Block you and forget all about you and move on and move on. And you know what? I don't I don't post a lot on this channel anyway, so, yeah, you know, going back to people with long, long attention spans, they're interested in things, and they'll talk about what you're talking about in, in a video, and they don't go around saying stupid, worthless, meaningless things, they just, they just give you legit comments that are about what you are talking about in your videos on your YouTube channel or something that they saw on TV they give their they they, um, they tell you what they saw and they give you their thoughts on it they go in detail and they, and they speak about what they saw and you know they don't just say stuff like your videos are long boring and dreadful and your videos are long and you know, they don't say stuff like that. They just they just give you their thoughts on it. And that's it. You know? If they say that the vi if they say that the video is boring or something is boring, they'll tell you why it's boring. They're not gonna say it's boring and just 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 fuck off. No. They're gonna tell you why your videos are boring. You're going to go in depth on what you're saying. You know, and you know, and people with long attention spans, you know, a lot of them aren't perfect. You got some who are very religious and, and they're forced their religious beliefs onto you. Someone forced their religious beliefs on, onto me when they saw a video that I made about Doc G. They told me that, um, you know, people change, and Dog G isn't the same person that he was. And they told me to go to church and read the Bible, believe in God, and and pray. And told me God bless you. Um, they're forcing their religious beliefs on me. I don't. I mean, I think people go around. People who are religious 
go around forcing their religious beliefs on someone is just wrong. You can't do that. Like, I'm not going to tell a, a single guy to go out and get married. I'm not going to do that. If he wants to stay single or he even wants to get married, that's his business. But, you know, when, um, you know, when the divorce court goes and screws him, when his wife divorces him when, and takes everything and the children, everything that he owns away from him, he has nothing. Well, he's going to feel that, you know. But anyway, you know, um, people with longer attention spans will give their thoughts on things regardless if they disagree with you or not. And they're, they're nothing like people with short attention spans that just say a lot of stupid stuff and, and expect and, and believes that everything that they say flies. You know, people with short attention spans today, you know, they just say a lot of worthless, meaningless, dumb things and they believe that everything that they say flies. But you know, back in you know, if they were in the uh, I say in the in the seventies, eighties and nineties, what they say won't fly. And it will backfire on them and they will fall flat on their faces. They will fail. Because you know, they can't hold a candle to people with, with longer with longer attention spans in those decades. As a matter of fact, people like Martel De Cool and people with short, short attention spans won't last in the 90s. They won't last in the 80s. They won't last in the 70s. They will fail. But, you know, they thrive in their own time, the time that they're in today, you know. Because, you know, me, people like me, are a joke and people like them are something. But, you know, put that in reverse. And if, you, if, and if we were in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, those people will fall flat on their faces. Those people will be a joke. And people like me will thrive. So, you know, but, you know, those days, those times, you know, the 70s, 80s, and 90s, those, those days are long gone, you know, and... And like someone says, we're in that microwave era. Everything just microwave really quick and fast. Everything is simplified. Everything is dumbed down. Yeah, and this is and we're in this modern era, you know. But you know, but in this modern era, there's still people out there with long attention spans, and they are rare. And there's more dumbed down, simple-minded people out there than people who are thoughtful and knowledgeable and have a long attention span. Yeah, um, in the media, you know, uh, you know the, the media here in the U.S., you know, news outlets like Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, ABC, The Nightly News, CBS, They never talk about, you know, what really goes on in this country. And they don't talk about what goes on in other countries. Yeah, because, you know, the media here is pathetic. And, you know, you got Americans, you know, who are not interested in what goes on in other countries, how other cultures are in other countries, you know, because, you know, they, they work a lot. They, they work all the time, you know, they, they, they work, 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 because, you know, America is a, is a workaholic nation, and it is, people work a lot, and, you know, and also, you know, people with short attention spans, uh, they're in the, they're in the things like, you know, like what happened at the Oscars last month, where, where Will Smith walked on stage, and slapped comedian Chris Rock because he made a he made a he made a joke about his wife, her wife's haircut because her wife his wife's haircut well she's bald because you know um 
she had this condition called alopecia. Alopecia is where people just lose their hair. It's a, it's a disease. It's a condition. And Chris Rock was just making a joke about it. Will just went from laughing about it to switching over to being a to be this angry husband going on stage and hitting Chris Rock and going back to where he was sitting at. And he did this because his wife didn't like the joke. Yeah, and a lot of idiots online are laughing at him, call him a simp and all, you know. Some of those people who are in, in, into that kind of stuff are just people with short attention spans, you know. And quite frankly, I'm just one of those people who are just not interested in stuff like this. But, you know, they're interested in stuff like that, you know. They're not, I mean, they're more inter some people in this country, not all of them, are more interested in what, what Will Smith did to Chris Rock at the Oscars than what's going on between Russia and the Ukraine. Russia invading and invading the Ukraine. And and what really is going on here in America with people living in poverty, people being homeless, sleeping out on the streets, living on the streets, people being kicked out of their apartment of their apartments are being evicted because they're late on the rent and people are just working low wage jobs and they're just one paycheck away from being homeless you know and the gap between the rich and the poor and you know a broken gun a broken um gun you know gun laws you know that has like um you know no no gun control that will stop mass shootings and, and understand what make mass shooters do what they do. You know, they're not into they're not in they're not interested in stuff like that. They're just interested in just this dumb stuff like like what's going on with celebrities and and all kinds of stupid stuff in this country. Like, you know, like like talk show like topics on on shows like Good Morning America and The View. You know, Steve Harvey and all, all these garbage shows on mainstream TV or lamestream TV, I, I like to call it. Yeah, a lot of people with short attention spans watch that, but you know, um, old media is dying and people are switching to new media to see the reality of what's going on. But you know, people who consume new media, they're no better because, you know, they got short attention spans. They're not interested in, in, in certain things. They're yeah. Don't get me wrong. They're interested in things that are going on, but they're not interested in um. You know. You know, like stuff that I'm talking about in my videos. They'll deem me as I'm boring. My videos are long, boring, and dreadful, and your videos are long. <laughs> I got Ashburgus. <laughs> yeah. Your videos are long. Stuff like that. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Those people are silly. All, all I can do is just laugh at them when they post stupid comments on, my, on one of my video on the videos on, on, on my YouTube. On this YouTube channel. <laughs> That's all I can do. Is just laugh and just move on. I can't let it get to me. You know. Yeah. So. That's all I got to say in this video. <sighs> yeah. Just drinking some of that Perrier. While I'm making this video. So. That's all I got to say in this video. Au revoir.